Here's how shadowing works. I talk, you listen, and hopefully you learn something about being a dispatcher. Question? Save it for my state mandated break in three hours and ten minutes. First things first, everybody lies. Dr. Gregory House was right about that. Sometimes people know that they are lying. Oh no, I didn't know that that would happen. Whoops, I slipped and fell on that cucumber. Other times, whatever they're going through at that moment is scrambling their brain. They're the ultimate unreliable narrators. Uh, who's Dr. House? Uh, you're one of those, aren't you? You're a reader. The point is, you can't trust people. Only yourself. If it sounds like bull, it probably is. 911, what's your emergency? My boyfriend stabbed me. And is he still in the house? No, he left, but there's a knife and pail in my head. I've got to get it out. Nope, don't touch it. Leave it in there. I think after 14 seasons of Grey's Anatomy, people would know this stuff. Ma'am, how bad is the bleeding? It's only a little. Okay, lock the doors. Help is on the way. Stay calm. So, questions? No? Good. Your turn. Wait, what? My turn? Take a call? Yeah. See one, do one, teach one. FYI, this is the second one. 911, what's your emergency? Help, please. Can't breathe. What is your location, sir? Ocean Park and Lincoln, by the sushi place. Sushi place? Ocean Park, Lincoln. Sushi place, ah. Are you having tightness in your chest, pain in your arms? No, but they're swollen. Do you have any allergies? Shellfish, I told them. Okay, it sounds like you're having an allergic reaction. Help is on the way. Now can you elevate your arms? Excuse me, sir, are you out on the street? I'm in my car. And what kind of car are we looking for? Great challenger. Okay, stay calm. Help is on the way. Thank you. Can I see that? Hmm. He would have been unconscious by the time the EMTs arrived because they wouldn't have known where to look. You were so busy with your checklist that you didn't hear the sound of the engine running. I understand. I've been an ER nurse for the last eight years. It's face to face. I People out there are in crisis, and we need to see everything, despite what their panic minds are telling us. The only sense that we have to solve this problem is our listening. What if I panic? What, what if I, people's lives are at stake? You were an ER nurse. Take a breath. Trust your instincts. You'll be okay. Number one, what's your emergency? 